even if the sky is falling down, down. Hey guys, it's Ray at our voiceoverguide.com. Got another quick request on, or got a request rather, um, from a subscriber uh, and a friend. Uh, her name is Allison, and she does musician blogs for radiopotato.com. And one of the things that she had issue with is she did a recording uh, with two different microphones. Um, and one of them sounds pretty clean. Uh, you'll see that in a second. And the other one sounds a little tinny, uh, a little thin. A um, lot of room noise, uh, and that's just a matter of having a different recorder. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind as we go through this. Um, one, you always want to leave yourself some room uh, for just some room sound. Uh, when you're doing the restoration process, you really want to get a good capture of just the background noise that you have in a room. Should you be traveling uh, or doing a recording uh, outside the control of a studio, uh, your home, what have you. So one of the things you want to do is give yourself, you know, a good 10, 15 seconds of just room silence, no shuffling of papers, uh, talking or anything like that. So just so you have that, that floor noise of what that room is, so you can kind of do the best you can later to edit that part out. Okay. We'll play on other people's stuff. And so sometimes I'll just be the guy who's just playing piano on someone else's thing. And you guys are touring this summer? Yeah, that's the plan. Please come to Atlanta. Definitely. Yeah, it's the last time I played in Atlanta, which I'm sad to say was... So anyway, there you can definitely tell the difference between the two. Now, visually, just looking here at the waveform, you can tell that this one here um, is, for the most part, um, right around negative 15 dB on here. And this recording here is kind of up in the probably negative 2 dB reading. So there's a couple things you can do really quick. Uh, to adjust for that, you can take, uh, you know, this section here uh, in your favorites. You can normalize to 3 dB if you'd like and do a hard limit. So if you normalize, you can take that up. You're going to watch out. There's going to be some clipping. So you want to watch that. So you can boost that up just a little bit there. Um, you can take your other sections. Same thing in here. Kind of just adjust in these areas where... It's a little bit softer spoken than the rest of the, the audio there. So you match them up a little bit better there, um, but it's definitely not going to take uh, everything out for you. We'll go into our effects here, and we'll just deal with this area here. Okay. We'll play on other people's stuff. And so sometimes I'll just be the guy who just plays. Now, if we had a nice 5, 10 second spot of just free news uh, room noise, uh, we could go in there and go through our effects and generate noise reduction. And you could take out a good deal of that room noise, um, you know, probably at 50, 60 percent. Um, much more than that, you're going to get that robotic sound, which you don't want to do. In the area here in the effects, the filter and EQ, there's a few different ones you can use um, in here. But what's a lot easier to see, because right now you're just seeing wave files. And you know if you do this, if you highlight it and you increase it, you can match it up pretty close. And you can look at these and go, hey, you know, it looks kind of similar. You get a lot better view of this by looking at it in the other um, functions that Adobe has in their spectral frequency display. Here's a good way to look at the two side by side. Now there's an even split. On the right, you have the more clear um, you know, Sony digital voice recorder on that second half versus the zoom mic on the first part of it there. So one of the things you can see that nice, you can also get a better look at it by looking at the spectral pan display which will show you a lot as well. Look at the difference between the two here. Uh, now, you normally don't see this when you're just looking at waveforms, so you're just trying to correct something that may be um, very hard to correct. I'm not saying it's uncorrectable. Uh, you can always minimize the damage, but uh, you know, being able to have the recording with one recorder is always better than the two. But the, the problem that we have today is that it was recorded with two, and how do we make them a little bit better? Uh, one more option for you to look at is... Um, the last one, which is the spectral phase display, which shows you a little bit of how that plays here and all the extra room noise um, in here. We'll start here uh, and show you another one of the other options that we have. There's a, a bunch of different brushes here, uh, effects paint brush, spot healing brushes, a lasso selection. There's a marquee selection tool, which I use uh, sometimes when I have some issues like this. So if we're looking at boosting 
uh, the lower um, hertz area to kind of match what's in the room here. Um, I may take this marquee tool and highlight that section. And right up here in my, in my uh, a volume tool is maybe throw this up like let's say five decibels. And you'll see what that gave us a little bit. Thickened it up a little bit closer to our control over here. And let's see what that sounds like. Versus one, okay. We'll play on other people's stuff. And so sometimes I'll just be the guy who's just playing. So we raise that a little bit, but we still have a lot of this treble kind of back tinny noise here. So you do the same thing with taking a spectral marquee tool here, right? To about here now you don't want to go through and delete this because you're gonna sound it's gonna sound robotic and uh, absolutely horrible but you can drop this down go let's just say negative 10 uh, for this example and see what that sounds like so we did a little bit better and uh, hopefully that helps you a little bit one thing I would clean up too is right when the guy is saying enjoy myself you hear some bangs um in here so let's try to find those sort of, hey, I'm gonna contact with you, brother. Can you guys right there there's one of them let's go back to the other one right here so you got one here and one here i take that and just kind of lower that same thing here Lower that. So when you have both those, maybe the last thing you do uh, on both ends here is kind of go to your favorites. You can normalize to 1 dB here. And maybe take the section here that we really boosted now. Drop that down to match more close the control to the right last thing i do here is try to take out this hiss in the room here that's throwing it off a little bit that make that makes it a little bit different than the one to the left i would take this area here let's go ahead and zero up on here and let's see if we can find a place where we have a little gap with no talking um, that would be phenomenal um, let's see please come to atlanta there we go right here there's some there's a spot right there no one's talking you're going um there you go it's a little a nice little chunk of the room noise there so go to effects restoration noise reduction capture profile there you go and you can see all this right here that's the noise if you want to be able to take all of that out you would raise your bar here all the way to a hundred rarely do i do that because it takes out way too much and you get that robotic sound um, so I always keep it at 50 percent and then adjust it so now we've got that captured uh, let's go ahead and close this because I want to make sure that we're not uh, using or taking the other file we don't have these split up so I would take just a second file that's got that noise in there go back to effects restoration noise reduction and go ahead and click OK now if you listen to it please come to Atlanta Definitely. Yeah, it's the last time we played in Atlanta, which I'm sad to say was, no, I think it was with William. Or Eddie. Oh yeah, Eddie's out. Uh, yeah, sure. Was was easily our most fun Atlanta show, I think. Probably. Oh yeah, it was a great show. And that kind of takes out some of the high end hiss. Uh, if you will. So, you know, making sure that you always leave yourself some space. And I'm sure maybe in the uh, larger edit of this audio um, that you didn't send, uh, you might be able to find um, a bigger gap with just some room noise that you'll be able to take out using the noise reduction um, preset in Adobe Audition 3.0. I hope this was helpful. Hope it is what you were looking for or is helpful to someone out there. If it was, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any voiceover needs, by all means, please let me know. Go to www.ourvoiceoverguy.com. Thanks for watching. You are my only. You won't be lonely. Even if the sky is falling down. You'll be my only. No need to worry. Baby, are you down, down, down?